What's stopping you? Are you too tired? Didn't get enough sleep? Don't have enough energy? Don't have enough time? Is that what's stopping you right now? Don't have enough money? Is that the thing? Or is the thing that's stopping you, you? If you're gonna be successful in life, you gotta understand that there is a sense of urgency, that there are only 86,400 seconds in a day, and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick, you gotta do it fast, you gotta do it in a hurry, why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are, Somebody else, they're on the same path that you are. It's somebody else just like you trying to do it. And sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. You have control over your mind. You just have to assert it. You have to decide that you are going to be in control, that you are going to do what you want to do. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Everyone wants some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. No, you have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood, but you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it. You gotta do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. If you want to finish sometime, you can't just finish. You got to finish fast. You don't have as much time as you think you do. You master the present. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that, but knowing that that's someone out there that's willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. In life, a lot of times, a lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life they think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. If you make sure a name and face is yours. That's why I wake up at three o'clock in the morning, because if you're getting up at six, you might be smarter than me. You hear me? You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm gonna get up earlier than you and I'm gonna do it quicker than you do it. I'm gonna do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. The battle, the battle is actually in your head. You're not gonna hear noises, you're not gonna hear gunfire, you're not gonna hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness, and laziness, and they're not attacking. They're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go, and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Life is always giving you a test. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life. Prepare for battle. I don't care what you're going through. What life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new 100%. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. What the f are you waiting on? We sleep one third of our fucking lives and we think we can take days off. We think we have the right to sit back and give ourselves options on which way we're gonna go in life. Am I gonna run today? Am I gonna work out today? Well, it's my birthday. You think time gives a fuck that it's your birthday? You give yourself too many fucking options. Let me tell you one thing. Time is running out. You keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you wanna do. You're just gonna run out of time. So make sure you do one thing. Stop following the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to.
where you trying to go, you might have to give up some friends. You might have to give up some opportunities. You might have to give up some stuff to go from good to great. Everybody talk that talk. Everybody talk about going to the next level. Everybody talking it. And two, it's time to pay up. You want to get better? Stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock. Find your discipline. Find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. Every day is a new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scouts. I'm putting the pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack. Because I will not stop. And when it's time to pay, there are people who are not willing to pay. You're going to have to sacrifice some sleep to get this one. You can't get up at the same time. You're going to have to sacrifice some friendship to get to this one. You're going to have to sacrifice some entertainment to get to this one. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You no longer playing games. You are willing to do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to get to that milestone. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. So all of this stuff you're talking about, all of this social media, cut it off. Cut it off. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no boy no more. Get off social media. It's killing you. Get off of it. Stop Netflix. Who are you watching? Watch you! Cut that doggone football game up. It ain't doing nothing for you. They making millions, you not. More stuff comes to you when you execute, son. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach. When you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired. When you change your music. It's the process that makes you sweet. If you want it, you will find time in your life to do it. If you don't want it, you will continue to do exactly what you are now. Give me excuses. You can make up every excuse on why you can't do it, and that's why I can't connect with you. That's why you hear the passion come out of me, and you want to say it's anger? No, because I know it can be done. And you're telling me on why it can't be done. And then what you do is, he's crazy, he's in a cag. No, you don't want it bad enough. If you want it bad enough, you will figure out how to make this shit happen. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Make it work. Let's go. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You don't need nothing else. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no. You keep talking about everybody else you can't tell no. You can't tell you no. You can't tell you stop. You can't tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. People don't want to go in deep, man. All the answers are inside of you. It's a very primitive way. It's, it's, it's very barbarian. It's how we all think. It's how, it's, it's how man once walked the earth. And then we get all soft. The most powerful thing we have is our fucking brain. It's our mind. And we don't use it anymore. What separates me from a lot of people is they go into an, a daunting task. And the task is overwhelming. You have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this. Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the fuck is in front of you. That's what I realized. I was never breaking the soul of anything in front of me. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything.
that is relentless. Nothing. 